a group of us all met in the Hall of Oak and we decided to have a Kilty Live campaign and that's where it all began. We put up a huge poster online saying families wanted and this meant a lot to people because like suddenly they were no longer just numbers and lines. They were now people who counted that we wanted them. What inspired us to move to Leitrim was John Paul was on uh, Facebook one day and he saw the campaign to have people move to a rural area. We just wanted a better life for ourselves. When we first came to Kilty, they set up a night, uh, a meet and greet night. And uh, that was very, very special to us because we got to meet the new people. We set up a boxer-size club, which was a massive team effort. The boxer size caters for, for both the, the local residents and people who are new to the town, and it seems to be a good mix. I think it's helped people just to get out and have something to focus on in sort of the winter evenings. In a village like this in rural Ireland, there won't be a lot of activity, you know, bar the normal things like pubs and stuff like this. Since the new family's coming, it's gotten much more life. It's, it's much more exciting and a lot more people about, and even on the weekend, it's good fun in the pubs. <laughs> Before we came up and other families came up, there was only 11 pupils and now there's 28 students. When we were living in a toy, our daughter was in a class of 32. She was suffering badly with her education. It would take me about 40 minutes to drive to the school. The school here, it's 100 yards away from our house. Tamsin loves a new school. You can see the difference in our education. Now she's flying. It's a blessing. In a Thai, Tamsin suffers with nightmares, and since we moved here, the nightmares have stopped. The peace that we have up here, it's, it's, it's phenomenal. Now that we're here in Kilty Clare, there's uh, no way we'd be going back.